checking in. What's good, everybody? So I got to let y'all know what is actually motivating your ass to do more things than what you got going on right now. It's boredom. That's the honest truth. The things that you do every day are controlled by dopamine. You will go back to doing something that is entertaining because it releases dopamine. And once you release enough dopamine, bro, your your body's not gonna release any more dopamine from that certain object. So you're going to go find something greater than that object so you can release the same amount of dopamine that object gave you. And that's the honest truth. Dopamine is happiness. Serotonin is happiness. These are all happiness endorphins that live within your brain. Your ass don't know this. When you are doing something that is fun, dopamine and serotonin or endorphins are released from a chemical react, whatever this shit's called in your brain. And life is like a hundred foot pool, bro. The first two feet gonna be fun, but as it gets deeper, bro, that shit gonna get boring and boring and more harder. You gonna be like, oh shit, I was having fun. Now I gotta climb back up to the top to get back to having fun. Cause you can only have fun on the shore, right? Or have fun when you get up above water, right? Can't have fun underwater, right? You can only swim. That's where people mess up. You don't start from the top and try to swim to the top, you see? You have to start from the bottom in order to swim to the top because you can't get to the top without getting to, without starting from the bottom. And that is facts, bro. It, it, I don't care how you look at it. You picture it in your head, bro. You can replay that shit because I said a lot, but it means something. You cannot get to the top without starting from the bottom. And starting from the bottom is starting with your wheel. You can have all the money in the world already, bro. You can be born rich. That, that's fine. You got a million dollars with you right now. But you're still at the bottom. You ain't made it to the top. You have a root chakra. You got to make it to your crown in order to achieve peace of mind and happiness and know what you're put on this planet to do. You're sent here to create something that nobody has done yet. You aren't sent here to live somebody else's life. And see, like, people make these big-ass trucks. They were sent here to do that. Unless they was, they were sent here to do that, bro. To make your fucking life easier. They, sent, they were sent here to do that. And you gotta understand, you're sent here to do something just like that. You're not sent here to go work in those factories and build the things that he was sent here to make. You weren't sent here to go to somebody else's farm and harvest their crops. How do you harvest their crops? You sell their products. You sell their products. You put that shit together. When you go, when you in the back in the kitchen in the fast food, you're planting seeds. This is how it works. This is how this is their form. How they make it grow. Somebody goes through the drive-thru. They plant the seed by placing an order. They pull up to the window. That's when the food starts to pop up. You're, you're, you're the dirt. You're the dirt. They use you as dirt. Without the dirt, the plant can't grow. So they place the seed at the drive through You're the dirt. The seed goes through the dirt. You make the seed grow. The seed come up and shit. They put it in the box wherever they put finishing that. And then y'all send it off. Y'all harvest it by putting it in the bag and giving it to the customer. And now they you making somebody else's money from somebody else's farm. Get on your own shit. You got your own things to do. Nine to fives is fine when you're working to do something. But if you're just working a nine to five just to survive, bro, stop. Because you're not going to move past it. Because you're simply living somebody else's life. That's the only reason people don't move past nine to fives. They're living somebody else's life. Managing somebody else's farm. Managing somebody else's plantation with people in it. You are the plant. You are the seed. They try to bury you, but, for, but forgot that you was a seed. They buried me in the motherfucking nine to five place, and they forgot I was a seed. Now I've sprouted and looking.
got all the wisdom in the world. Now, one thing I'm going to let you know that it's been five minutes and filled your brain up so much shit, even though I'm talking fast. And the truth is that life does not start with somebody else's decision. Life starts with the decision of yours. If you try to go get your dream job and you pull up to the job interview and you don't get the job. We not even gonna go through what happened. You just don't get the job. That's because you letting somebody else make a decision about your life. First of all, you didn't have an intention on getting that job. You had an intention on having somebody else get you that job. You see, when you go to a job interview, somebody else gets you that job. They find you spots and they do all that shit. If you can find your own work, you can make your own money. You can live on your own. You don't need to go clock in and do something for somebody else. You see, no, you can't make money if you have to be present to make it. Nine to fives, you have to be present to make money. You cannot, your money does not grow unless you type in the buttons and you stay at that farm for a certain amount of hours. But in the business world, your money grows when you sleep. Get out there and create something with the brain that God gave you. He gave you the same brain he gave Elon Musk. He gave you the same brain he gave Elon Musk. Use it. Don't let somebody else use it. You use it. You learn on your own. You go find mentors to help you grow. You go find you some videos on the motherfucking internet to help you succeed in life. And now, see, we just talking about money. We, we, we talking about financial stability. Stability. Yeah, my phone just did some weird shit. But we, we, we talk about financial stability. Now, when I talk about spiritual health, you got to work on your shadow side. You got to you gotta get out there. You got to do the shadow work. You got to ground. And you got to get out there and walk barefoot, meditate, look up in the damn sky. Look up. Shut up and look up. Get you some vitamin D. Get you some vitamin C. Get you all the minerals you need. From simply walking barefoot on the ground, absorbing sunlight, and breathing in that good ass prana like that man's Ralph Smart say. Now I want y'all to have a good ass day and I want y'all to take this information I just put you on. You're not gonna live a good life clocking in. When I clock in is when I wake up. When I clock out, I don't. I clock in when I wake up every day. There's no clock out. So you know what that means. I have no choice, no breaks, nothing. You got to realize that you are made with gallons of potential. You got to do the digging. Just, just think of yourself like a treasure chest, bro. It's ugly and wooden on the outside. But inside is precious jewels. You see, you don't understand that. You have you you tend to look outside of yourself. You look external. You don't you don't sit on the ground and you you don't sit on the ground and you don't shut up and listen to what's going on inside your body. You think I'm talking about hearing? No, I just answered your question telepathically. I'm not talking about hearing. I'm talking about shutting up and listening, verbally listening. Emotionally listening to your body. Your body will tell you what your next next step is in life. If you got physical problems, your body will tell you your next step is going to the gym. If you have health issues, your body will tell you your next move is going to the grocery store and buying you some produce and getting some seeds and going outside and starting your garden. But you don't want to listen to that. You want to listen to the side that tell you, ah, we're going to go get some candy. Ah, we're going to go do this. We're going to go do that. We're going to go have fun. We're going to go party. We're going to go outside. We're going we gonna to do this. We're going to bullshit our whole life. We're we going to have fun our whole life. We're not going to take care of our spiritual side. And when you die, that partying ends. And it's just you and your spiritual side. So is you going to work on that shit when you die? Or you going to work on it now? It's up to you, player. It's up to you.